all right so welcome back to um the vega fitnatic channel um channel it's been a while since i was able to record any video but today i'm going to do a simple um, demonstration that will show you the dissolvable solids that can be found in the tap water as opposed to almost none when it comes to rain water so i have my tds meter here right so this is uh, tds stands for total dissolvable solid which are like the um, mercury the the aluminium um all of these other um chemicals that it put in the water that it is supposed to purify it but um it does nothing close to, to purifying in the water right so i'm going to show you the comparison and, and having uh, a tds meter is for me is very important right because um health is important right and it should read anyway they say between um 300 um parts per million is is acceptable now if they say you it's acceptable then um nah right but and then um anything under 300 um parts per per million is um suitable for, for um it's like more on the like better side of, of drinking but 300 parts per million like you need water supposed to be pure in it right anyway so this glass on the right is rainwater. The glass on the left is top water. All right. So I'm gonna um, start off with the um, the, the rainwater. Right. So I'm gonna turn this boy on. Okay. So um, yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's at zero. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna stick this in here. All right. I'm gonna press hold. All right. All right, now you can see it's at uh, 21, right? That's 21 parts per million, right? That's some good pure water, right? Could be better because for me, like, you don't want to have any, any parts. But obviously, I catch this from the roof, you know, off of the roof into the bucket, you know, and that's how I'm going to be um, drinking it, so, you know, and I don't want to add anything in it to try to purify it. But also, there's other ways you can use to not just purify your water but but um just like all the old people in the days used to say say grace before meal right because because you're sending out positive energy right and it's been proven like scientifically even though a lot of the scientists be telling us shit right but when it comes to your own energy like scientists cannot disprove that right and if they don't understand it then they tell you a lot of shit like oh, some scientists say oh we have junk DNA no just admit that you guys don't know what the shit does anyway right so what you can do if you want to charge up your water let's say you don't have rain water and you, you're drinking tap water but you, you want to like um give it some positive energy right just you can just hold it and um you can see let's say um I cleanse and I purify you you know back to a clean pure state right and with positive intentions with belief you know you will be able to to cleanse the water and, and bring it back to at least a less um acidic state or get rid of some of the tds right and then you just ask that um nourish my body hydrate my body as i drink or whatever it is you find whatever phrase words you want to use that would help you but but this is a, a good way as well of um helping to to purify your water anyway back to topic right so this here is um 21 uh, parts per million Let me show you again 21 parts per million so i'm gonna release it now and i'm gonna test the the top water all right bang on 353 all right so let me hold that actually it's down to 352 now right so 352 parts per million right so you don't need to be a rocket scientist you don't need to be harvard graduate anything to apply common sense to know that rainwater is the way to go right and it tastes so 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 much better so much better right but i'm gonna also do a, another video that's gonna show you how to i can actually do it right now 
but now I'm gonna save it for another video that show you how you can um, help to um, charge the tap water right because remember now the tap water is basically locked down deep down um, underneath the soil right where it's not exposed to any light light is life right light is life think about it if you have anything locked up in in the dark it kind of like go off fast right as opposed to when it's in the light right and also within the air there's oxygen right so so a way you can naturally um give back your water some life force because it's pretty much dead it's, it's been on it the the, the, the um, surface for forever right so i'm gonna do a next video that's gonna show you how to um add back some 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 life some oxygen into the water that will also help oxygenate your body because water is essence is essence people disregard it but it's essence like the earth is like 70 percent water your body is 70 percent water right so you need water it's more important water also helps the body to to work in many different ways that a lot of us don't even even have a clue as yet right because knowledge is power and unfortunately the system you know don't want us to 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 tap into the power that lies within us and around us right but that's for another topic another video whatever but just understand knowledge is power drink some uh, rain water and leave the top water alone man if you value your health just gonna leave the tap water alone and and you don't need to go and, and buy bottle water if you're living especially if you're living in the tropics just get a a, a a barrel whatever it is and just set it and have the rain water drop right into the um, barrel and and just be healthy